Reading Pioneers is proud to present Stories of the Red Rat and the Red Hen, Volume 6, by Linda von Wartburg. The Red Rat Judges a Fish The Red Rat is fuming! He is beside himself! Today we lost the game, he says, because the Dormouse is so lame! He always gets picked last in gym because no one wants to be stuck with him. When the ball came in his section, he was looking in the other direction. What does he do when he's not in gym? asked the hen. He plays piano and violin, says the rat. He likes Rodenti Menuhin and Liberati. Obviously, says the hen, music is his fort, not sport. That is true, says the rat, but what can we do? Listen, says the hen. The next day, the red rat bursts in. Oompa, 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 pa! The dormouse was oompa, pa, glorious! We were oompa, pa, victorious! We made oompa, pa, historious! He does a cartwheel! He skips and flips! I gather that the plan bore fruit, says the hen. Like magic beans, says the rat. I picked the dormouse right off the bat. Your position, I told him, is team musician. When we face our opposition, play this special composition. Gymnopedies 1 through 3 by composer Eric Ratti. It worked like magic! As soon as the Dormouse started to play, their defense fainted dead away! The offensive team began to weep, and the captain fell asleep. The Bleacher fans went comatose. The referee gave up the ghost. The whole cheerleading team expired. Rodents blocks away got tired. The Dormouse made their team collapse. They forfeited to take their naps. As Albert Porcupine opined, says the hen, if you judge a fish by his ability to climb a tree, you should not be judging fish. Albert Porcupine's thesis is that every rodent has his own genius. The Red Rat says, fine. Do we have to talk about Albert Porcupine? No, says the hen. Now, once again, how did you win? The Red Rat Wonders The Red Rat is listening to music. Yesterday, I had a friend with whom to play. Now our family has moved away. Oh, how I long for yesterday. He hiccups. He sniffles. He hiccups again. What's wrong? asked the hen. I'm so lonesome. I could die, the rat says. My insides hurt. My chest is tight. I feel so sad. I can't breathe right. Will a nap help? asks the hen. The red rat says, No, it won't. 
You think you get it, but you don't. I won't feel better until I'm grown. Then it won't hurt to be alone. I wish, says the hen. Alas, that is wrong. Feelings do not get less strong. Your body grows up and your mind, but your emotions are left behind. Then why, asks the rat, don't grown ups cry? We do, says the hen. We just conceal it. That doesn't mean that we don't feel it. But I can tell you that this won't last. With time, the loneliness will pass. The rat says that may be for you, but not for me. I know exactly what's ahead. I'll have no friends, then I'll be dead. Why go to school or follow rules? Why not just eat candy and watch cartoons? That debate, says the hen, has agitated rodent sages for ages. Life is absurd, but that's our lot. We just carry on as if it's not. When I can't think of what to do, I spend time taking care of you. If things still really bother me, I usually have toast and tea. Now you sit there while I make toast. I'll tell you a story about a ghost. The Ghost of Alberat Camus, a rat who was a lot like you. The Red Rat and the Lemmings. At lunch, the Red Rat says, The Dormouse tried to sit with us. Of course, the Chinchilla made a fuss. He said, Knock, knock. This table's locked. You don't fit in. You play violin. The lemmings all jumped in again. We are the same in look and thought. We are us and you are not. You are odd and we are many. Tuck that under your chin chin chinny. Then the wharf rat said, I may live in the poor house. But at least I'm not the Dormouse. Oh my goodness, says the hen. What happened then? No one knew what to say, says the rat. So the Dormouse went away. The red rat says, I feel chagrin. I should have spoken up for him, but I wanted to fit in. It sounds like nap time, says the hen. The red rat takes a siesta. He dreams that he is visited by the giant rat of Sumatra. My advice, says the giant rat of Sumatra, would be to help them see that we all play in one symphony. If I were in your position, I would make them all musicians. Now, I must visit the dream of a musical dormouse with low self-esteem. Adios! Wait, says the rat. I don't want to be teased. If I stick up for the dormouse, I'll be treated like he is. The giant rat turns around. Courage is not a cakewalk, he says. When you want to run away, do the right thing anyway. As Fred E. Rat Douglas said, 
my self-opinion is not lenient. I do what's right, though not convenient. If I didn't stick with it, I would be a hypocrite. The giant rat pins a sparkly star on the red rat's vest. This star makes you my deputy, he says. It's something only we can see. It is the red rat badge of courage. Keep it in safe storage. Wear it when your bravery feels wavery. And thank you again for the queen's gem. The next day at lunch, the red rat brings a bunch of musical instruments. Drums and a xylophone. And a tambourine. Cymbals and a triangle. Rain sticks and maracas. And bells. And bullhorns. He stands on a chair and drums like a prairie dog. He bellows into his bullhorn. Friends, rodents, country mice, you must come to understand that we all play in the rodent band. Some of us were born to fit in. That's fine for you. Some of us were born to stick out. That's fine too. We are not all lemmings, but we are all rodents. Hootenanny, now commence! The Dormouse taps his foot and primes his violin. The Red Rat taps the music stand and raises his baton. Everyone stops breathing. The baton drops. The cymbals crash. And away they go. This land is your land. This land is my land. From the Arctic tundra to the desert island. From the highest mountain to the lowest valley. This land was made for you and me. The Dormouse prances like he is Chipmunk Jagger. His violin is smoking. The wharf rat bangs the tambourine like it is the jingle jingle morning. The lemmings bellow through the bullhorns like bullfrogs. How many roads must a lemming walk down before he falls over a cliff? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. The porcupine jingles the triangle so fast that it looks like a rectangle. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a squirrel like that, you know you should be glad. The muskrat does the monster mash ballet. The capybara does the macarena. The gopher recites underground poetry. The squirrels bop like Diana Mouse and the Supremes. Stop in the name of love before you grab that cheese. Think it all over. The wharf rat waltzes with the dormouse. The red rat cha-chas with the chinchilla. Whether you're a squirrel or whether you're a gerbil, you're staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive, staying alive. It is a foot stomping, tail slapping, twist and shout blast from the past. It is the best lunch ever. The end. For now. Keep up your hopes, antelopes. Thank you, pioneers, for reading with us today to the book Stories of the Red Rat and the Red Hen by Linda Von Wartburg. This was volume six of the series, so if you enjoyed the stories, comment below which volume you want to see in the next video. 
I really enjoyed reading the book and catching all of the different references to music and famous people. Red Hen was a guardian and source of information to help Red Rat and the other rodents in fun-filled stories. If you want to check out more content by Linda, you can visit her YouTube channel that she just started for resources and more information about Red Rat and Red Hen. You can also purchase her book from Amazon, both of which are linked in the description box down below. Also, clicking the card up above will send you directly to her YouTube channel. Comment on her videos that I sent you, and I hope you enjoy her content. If you have a book you'd like to be read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, so we can turn it into the next video. Also, it would really help this channel out if you click the like button on this video and subscribe to stay updated with future Read Alouds coming soon. Unfortunately, this is it for today. While waiting for the next upload, you can click the playlist on the left of other books by amazing authors like Linda, and on the right is our most recent upload. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.